After all the betrayals, dislocations, and toxic violations, the land is reclaiming itself. Despite the delays, the setbacks, and the conflicts of interest, the community is reclaiming itself. I would like to see it up and running, functioning as a reserve of its own with all of the same stuff that any other reserve has. All of us here, we feel like we got a lot in common because we were all here for when Dudley died. I've always hoped that that community would have the recognition they have, the same as any other reserve, any other First Nations community, where they're able to select their own chief and council, their own leadership, because the one thing everyone would be together in is that they want the community back. They're not going to settle for selling it or getting money for it. They want it restored. My vision is <laughs> for our community, is not just our community, it's not just our nation. Um, our community is just one small corner of our nation. Um, I guess you talk about those original agreements between when Shuganosh first came here, you had that two row wampum, the Royal Proclamation. Talk about those two boats traveling side by side. We'll stay in ours and you stay in yours. The sharing of the land. We never give up all of this land. We, we agreed to share it. We set aside small parcels where we weren't going to share. That's why they're so small. This lake out here where our food, we agreed to share it. That's. I don't know how, to, how that's going to come about, but I know there is going to be a change there. Whether it's slow or happens all at once, I don't, I don't know. Be part of the hope. Part of the necessary healing. Hey, hey.